We have rice and we have onions and we have tuna and broccoli. Helping families in need get fresh food and produce. That's the focus at Cascadia Produce. Founder Jeremy Vrablick says his business, along with many other small local producers, have one major obstacle they're constantly battling. Space has historically been an issue for everyone. So King County is stepping in to help. Right now, a 40,000 square foot Food Lifeline warehouse sits empty in South Seattle, but that will soon change. It's a food hub. It's a, it's a space where food is brought in. Michael Lufkin says the county knows that smaller farmers and growers struggle finding a physical place to store food, so they've been on the hunt for somewhere big enough to yeah, help. I mean, this facility will provide, I, I believe, so many opportunities for organizations who are doing important work across the region. This empty warehouse will not just store food, but also has space to prep up and pack food, then distribute it, helping groups like Adasha Turner's. She runs two companies that both support BIPOC farmers and create food in unique spaces. She says they're pros at making the food, but the storage and distribution problems are their biggest hurdles. One of the things that we quickly realized um, as our youth were growing about 1,400 heads of lettuce is that it wasn't that we couldn't produce, it was about getting it out. Right now, they store food wherever they can find space around the region, like here at Cascadia Produce, which kind of works, but isn't ideal. The only thing that we're lacking and historically have been lacking is the infrastructure and the logistics behind it. So they're looking forward to getting to use the new space starting in 2024, which will also help connect them with other groups similar to them, creating a network of support. To find those opportunities to increase collaboration and partnership across these different organizations. Jeremy says this one warehouse will not solve the whole issue, but it's a start. Just because it's not enough doesn't mean you don't take the first step to at least get it going. And if it goes well, it could be the beginning of something great. It can be done to where this food hub shows exactly what a resilient system um, with respect for all parties looks like, and then it should be replicated. Uniting people like Adasha. Not only brings us together, but we're up at, it, it provides a sense of um, purpose when they're growing it and they're able to maintain it and then take that food back to their families and said, hey, you know, we did this. Creating a food relief system together. Leah Pizzetti, King 5 News.